four hour bus ride from Milan to Venice and then got on the water bus to get to the main area of where we were staying. And this is me trying to enjoy the view but also trying to get my Instagram back because it was hacked, which I got back luckily. Thank you. Everything was within walking distance and we didn't notice until we left Venice, but there were no cars at all, which was very peaceful. Dinner was delicious. The baguettes were delicious with olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and Parmesan cheese. Had to say good morning to the seagulls. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good We spent the whole day at the Venice Biennale, an international exhibition with more than a thousand works displayed. This Biennale is held every year and lasts for six months from May to November. When I think of Italy, I think of laundry in a good way because it's so pretty and organized. I think it's from all the movies I've watched. I was craving hot chocolate this whole trip, not hot cocoa, hot chocolate, and it was delicious. Then we had lunch at Burano, which is famous for its colorful houses and leaning bell tower. Then we went to Torcello, famous for its ruins that date back to the late Roman Empire. Very few people live there, with tourism as their only source of income. That ends my trip in Venice. Next, we're taking the night bus again to Rome. <laughs> <laughs>